You guys want to do that thing where the, the streamer says hello YouTube and then Twitch chat floods with hi YouTube messages? Or is that cringe? All right, hello YouTube. It's time for the Viper Icebox Guide in high demand. <laughs> all right, all right. We're going to start on offense. There's a couple Orby Warbies we got to have under our belt. So let's start with mid, okay? So the most important orb we're gonna be using on Icebox is an orb that lands mid. And you're not allowed to wing this, okay? Because some of you will be like, oh, I can throw this, but you're gonna have a gap there, or you're gonna have um, a gap where it won't properly cover under the tube. You need to have a lineup for this orb. It's actually not that simple to just throw it, okay? So there's three different lineups I use to throw the same orb here. And I'm gonna show you why there's three. So the first one, you hop up on this corner, you see this snow on this mountain in the back, you just aim at the lowest point where there's still mountain right there, and you just left click. Easy. I throw this orb if I'm gonna go with my team A, because it's close to A. Next orb, if my team's going B, you see this sticker? I'm gonna align the bottom left corner of that sticker with my the top right corner of my poison meter, you see? I'm just gonna left click. And it's the same orb. Uh, so I throw that orb if I'm going B, okay? And then there's one more orb. This orb's a bit spicy. So, in the ground, up and to the left of this yellow arrow, you're gonna see three white dots. One, two, three. Can you guys see them? I hope so. There's gonna be the spawn barrier, like, here. You wanna just stand a bit below the top right dot. It, this one's forgiving, okay? Pull your orb out, and you see this line we're just gonna aim at that line on the right side and throw now why did what's the point of this one okay this one is the one we're gonna throw whenever we plan on lurking mid and also it's important if you're facing a sova and you throw this orb and knife out and put it up you can actually get into this orb before the sova dart on this wall will tag you he'll have no idea and then you can just walk right through because he's going to think mid's clear. You crying as a sofa mate? I got you, Daryl. Alright, for all you sofas watching who think, wait, that's OP. There's no counterplay to that. All you need to do is throw your dart on the ground right here. That perfectly counters it. However, in solo queue, almost every sofa is going to shoot it against this wall. Or they're going to shoot, like, this line up here. And both of these do not work. The easiest viper lineup the pros use for mid, I just showed them. Those are the three. Won't they hear you running up? Nope. <laughs> they will not. So you enter sound radius about like roughly here. But as the orb is going up, it's also making noise. They're not going to hear you. I promise because I've done this a million times and they never hear me. They just run into the orb and I'll start shift walking once I'm in the orb. And then I'll just walk out of it and look at boiler. And you fast like A this way, okay? So the most common technique used while lurking mid is this walking straight through the orb completely fearless out of your own orb looking up here and then flanking a this is the most common way to play around it oh here we go you see we just dodged this over dart that's right confidence is through the roof like look at that anytime you dodge this sova dart i want you rushing out of this orb either mid or be like this it's so strong because uh, they'll never expect you here, right? Because you dodged the sofa dart. It is scary, and you just have to have confidence that Coach Banana Wuhujin told you if you manage to get into that thing before the dart tags you, you just have to walk out. You have to walk out full confidence. No time to waste. If you stay in that orb, you're losing your timing window. So sometimes when you throw the orb, you want to stay back here and kind of just listen first. Because people on boiler will really like to spam the orb and whatnot. So you want to play it pretty slow most of the time. You only want to do that real fast play as like a mix up to really keep them on their toes. Another way I like to play off the orb is I'll orb up and I'm just going to come over towards the tube and I'm going to play like here and just listen. On lurk I really enjoy just staying alive and playing slow and getting audio information for the team like if they're grabbing a b orb and maybe flanking or if i hear them rotating through kitchen or rotating off a all this info is really valuable to the team
and I can cash out of this lurk whenever I feel it's right and like, you know, walk up. Okay, so the mid lurk, really important. All right, let me show you another orb. So next orb is the tricky one. If it's like an A rush that your team wants to run, so what you're gonna do is pre-round, you're gonna line your crosser up on this line in the ground to a point where if you walk up and down, it stays like on the line, okay? So you really need to be lined up. Then once the round starts, you can walk forward to this junction. You can't do it before the round starts because this is past the spawn barrier. So once the round begins, you inch your way up to this junction, you grab your orb, and then at this tip, you aim just a little bit to the right. You wanna make sure not too far to the right because you bounce off this wall. And you're gonna hold W and throw once your crosshair like hits this bottom part of the rafter. And the orb is gonna land back rafters right there. And the power of this orb is the enemy team can't swing you rafters and they can't swing you lower here. So if they wanna swing you, they gotta come out real wide where it's real dangerous for them, you see? So I'll use this orb like on pistol round if my team wants to rush A or if my team just wants to rush A. I don't use it that often. All right, and all this time you're like, well, Hujin, you haven't shown us any walls. That's because on offense, we're throwing one wall. This is how you start every pre-round. You walk into this corner with the spawn barrier, you pull your wall up, you aim into the sky, and you want this green dot to be like in the middle. This wall thing is gonna intersect with this front corner of B side, okay? Just throw that. We're defaulting a B wall on our Viper offense in this map. That's the only wall you're ever gonna throw, okay? The wall for A is not that important, and it's way more consistent if you can always threaten this B hit for the team. So for an A rush, you'll throw that A orb, but otherwise, pretty much every round, you're gonna have this orb and this wall to work with, no matter what, okay? You see, even when he's going A, he's got his orb mid and his wall B log. It's not a big deal. Hitting A with no smokes on this map is not a problem. So the last thing we do in offense, besides lurking mid, going with our team A, and going with our team B, is we can lurk B. So while we default this wall, you want to like put it up at the start of every round, regardless of if you're pushing or not. Okay? And now if you're lurking B, all you do is you come with your own wall that you've put up, you work your way over here, and tuck behind this box and put the wall down, and chill. Super ratty. This is how we lurk B. We're gonna do this a couple of rounds in our offense, but usually it's mid pressure, okay? So this is just to catch them off guard. And the idea is in all of the previous rounds, this wall just, it just comes up and down whenever you feel like it, okay? Like, if you just feel like putting it up and you got nothing to do, put the wall up on B. Condition the B players to just expect this wall to go up and down with no like repercussions, okay? And then eventually you're gonna be there. Isn't this wall a bit off? Doesn't look like it cut off Ness. Um, good question. You can aim it a bit more to cut off Ness. However, I actually like being able to see Nest. I think it's really dangerous if Nest is smoked off because it becomes really easy for them to spam the plant uncontested. So if it's blocked off and you go to like plant, it's so easy for this guy to walk into your orb, ping you, you know, and shoot right here. And it's really hard for your team to do anything about it. So I personally don't like to block off that option. If you do want to block it off, all you do is aim your wall a little bit more to the right and it'll it'll block it off, okay? Oh yeah, d don't carry the bomb. Don't don't be shroud, you know? Don't make the mistake that Sentinels made. Viper shouldn't have the bomb. Uh, this is a good ult for hitting B. You stand up on this corner, you ult the ground. Gives you a little lip here, plant the bomb. And then you can just, you know, play below. That's pretty much it. I don't play um, Molly lineups really. I think they're not that useful. And I find people play them too often if they're familiar with them. So I'm not gonna show you any Molly lineups. I do know some, okay? But I can genuinely tell you the last time I used one on Icebox was probably like three ranked games ago in Icebox. Like I go through a lot of ranked games just never even throwing a Molly like this. So 